Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. And today we have a serious face-off going on. We're gonna put these two top reciprocating saws head to head. We're gonna see who comes out on top. This is the Ryobi brushless reciprocating saw. This is the P517. This was the best one on the market until the new HP line came out. This is the PBLRS01. They're both 18 volts. They're both HP tools. Um, now this is supposed to have the newer HP uh, motor inside of it, which has a little bit more power, a little bit more intelligence in it. But this works with the HP batteries and has a lot more going on in, in terms of accessories and features than this one. So this one has a one inch and a quarter stroke length. It has 3,200 strokes per minute. This one has 3,200 strokes per minute and it also has one and a quarter inch stroke length. This is pretty basic right here. Uh, there's not much to it. There's no anti-vibe or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty basic uh, thicker rubber overmolding uh, here, thicker rubber overmolding in the back. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, you have the blade lock on the side right here and it does have an adjustable fence uh, so you can contour around cutting. For the old one, it actually has the anti-vibe right here and I can move that back and forth so it actually does work and it helps to reduce that vibration on your hands. It has thicker overmolding here, uh, thicker rubber overmolding here. Um, now this does have the latch lock here. Now the cool thing about this one is, did you see when I did that, it actually stayed. The reason why is because you can change the blade one-handed with this. So uh, you pull it with one hand, it automatically stays just like that. If you want to close it, you pull up a little bit, release the lock and it goes back down. This also has an adjustable fence on it as well for contouring. Uh, now this has something that a lot of top of the line reciprocating saws have. This one doesn't have it yet. I'm supposing in years to come they may incorporate it. Uh, but this right here is the blade adjustment. Now what this does, you can either saw this way, which is just a flat regular reciprocating saw, or it can cut down and it kind of oscillates just a little bit. And that allows for uh, a more aggressive cut, especially when you're doing demo. So all you have to do is you just flip that around and you have the circular motion cutting here and it has little arrows that you can, it's really hard to see, uh, but you just have, uh, you just flip it just like this and uh, you can cut it. Now for the purpose of the head to head, I'm going to keep this on regular reciprocating mode. Now one thing that if we can zoom in just a little bit, you can see that this has, uh, here we go, two extra terminals down here. That's to work with the HP batteries. And this one also has two extra terminals to work with the HP batteries. When I got this reciprocating saw, I was super stoked. I was very happy about it because I never had a legitimate good reciprocating saw before. I always got the cheapest one on the market and they were kind of just throwaway units. Um, so I got this one and right when I got this one, <laughs> thanks Ryobi, you put another one out and it's supposed to be the best one. So we're going to see which one is the best one today. And the power source for today's test, we're going to be using two fully charged six amp hour HP batteries. And the test that we're going to be conducting today is going to be with a 10 pound weight and we're going to hang this uh, from the tool itself. We're going to have an assortment of different woods. We're going to have two by sixes, uh, regular non-pressure treated. We're going to have two by four pressure treated. And then we're going to be using a four by four pressure treated as well. We're going to let the weight do the pulling. We're going to let the tools do the talking. All I'm going to be doing is just pulling and holding the trigger and making sure that the weight doesn't hit the ground. I forgot to mention that we're going to be using two brand new uh, six inch Diablo uh, wood, nail embedded wood uh, demon blades. So we'll be putting these in and then we're just going to rip on through the wood. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Okay, for the pressure treated 4x4, I need to switch 
to uh, a longer blade and I actually have a nail embedded wood. This is a demo blade by DeWalt. I have two of them. They're brand new. Uh, so we will use the three, three two, two, one. one. Four, three, three two, two, one. one. everybody so is that what you were thinking I actually took a little bit of time a few days to analyze the video when I compared the two and then I synchronized them and it was very surprising just how much that the new one beat this old one now this old one has a lot of features on it but one thing that I'll mention this anti vibe and during the test it really didn't make that big of a difference in fact this one felt I felt less vibration from the new one than I did from the old one here even though this has the more accessories um, all in all though it performed great it uh, powered through all the tests that we put it through I think the reason why this lost so much is just because the motor had a little bit harder of a time overcoming the friction from the blade so I don't think it kept the RPMs up like it should have and I think this one was able to do that now we had all the identical same specs blades power sources everybody I hope that you like this comparison I really got a lot of joy out of it. I plan on testing the new HP with a few other manufacturers, so stay tuned for that. If you all are interested in the merch, I now have these hats out. It's Ryobi in the front, and I actually have Ryobi in the back right here, so it's opposite-sided. So in case you want to wear the hat front or back, you've got the nice label there. And that is the wood grain. Here's a close-up. And that is the wood grain decal that I designed. I went ahead and slapped it on here so it's the same as the shirts. If you're interested in this, go ahead and hit the link down at the bottom at the merch store. And you'll be able to pick up one of these. Now, it isn't only just in black. I do have these in the green emblems as well. So you check that out in the link as well. I just like the color scheme of having the same decal color as the bill of the hat. And I really think it sets it off with the gray. If you all like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. And if you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because I have a lot of cool videos coming up. I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye, everybody.